Well, gentlemen, now it's time for our weapons test. Doug? All right, Bladesmiths, this is the kill test. Jason, you're up first. You ready? I am. All right, Jason. First up, when I grab onto it, it feels good in the hand. It's a good fit. Now, swinging this is sweet. You have a very sharp edge that cuts easily into this wild boar carcass. It will kill. Good job, Jason. Thank you. All right, Sean, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, Sean, let's talk about your weapon right here. First up, when I grabbed onto the handle, it's got a good feel to that. I like that you put some grooves in there because it fits nicely to where my hand locks into it, and I get a very secure fit. A little heavier, but the weight helps push and cut into this wild boar carcass. And most of all, it will kill. Thank you, sir. Good job. Welcome to the strength test, the dreaded ice chop. Jason, you're up first. You ready? Yeah. The warp, I think that it being off center made it rotate in my hand. But the balance on the sword, as you can see, is beautiful. It's comfortable to wield. And your sword held up. Well done. Thank you. Sean, you're up. How are you feeling? Nervous, but excited. <laughs> All right, let's do it. The weight on this is a little tip heavy. I would have liked a little bit more counterbalance on it, but that being said, it, it's still a lot of fun to swing. Your edge held up beautifully. Everything's right and tight. Well done. Thank you, sir. Okay, gentlemen, now to test the sharpness of your blade, I'll be cutting through this sugar cane. Testing you up first, you ready? I am. Your handle construction, you can see how square that is right there. When that was in my backhand cut, I actually got into those canes and then it rolled. Your tang is now kind of kicking off to one side. So that probably happened as that blade caught that last cane and yanked down. But uh, definitely a sharp blade, really nice. Sean, you're up, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. First up, your handle construction, I like a lot. It's not rotating in my hand. It's a heavier sword, but uh, cuts are clean. It's definitely a sharp blade. I like that. Well done. Thank you. Jason, Sean, the judges' deliberation is complete. They've made their final decision. The next Forged and Fire champion is. Sean, congratulations. You're the new Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. How do you feel about that? Doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. Sean, please present your blade to the judges. This whole experience, it's pushed me physically, it's pushed me mentally. Parts of it have been pretty brutal. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And I wouldn't trade a minute of it for anything. I've, I've had the time of my life.